Okay, it says find the volume inside the cylinder but outside the sphere. So we're trying to find the volume of this space here. And at first when you look at this you're like, whoa, they didn't give us enough information. All they gave us was six centimeters for the height. So the cylinder height we do know is six centimeters. But you know what? We do have some information about the sphere. We know that it also has this six centimeter height here, but for the sphere we're going to call that the diameter. That's the diameter. So the diameter of the sphere is six centimeters. And once we know that, it's a sphere, right? So we know then also the radius. And the radius is going to be three centimeters. And once we know the radius is three centimeters of the sphere, guess what? We know the radius of the cylinder is also three centimeters. See? So that's pretty good. Now all we've got to do is use our formulas and find our answer. So what I'm going to do is find the volume of the entire cylinder, then find the volume of the entire sphere, and subtract the volume of the sphere from the cylinder volume and I should have my answer. So for cylinders the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times the height. So the height we know is six centimeters. The radius we already figured that out actually. That's going to be three centimeters and it's going to be squared. And then pi will use 3.14 since they didn't tell us anything else to use. So there we go. There's a or work. So 3 squared is 9 centimeters squared and then times 6 centimeters times pi. 9 times 6 is 54 and it's going to be cubic centimeters now. Centimeters times centimeters squared times pi. So 3.14 times 54 and I get 169 and 56 hundredths cubic centimeters. And now that is going to be an approximate answer because we used an approximation for pi. So that's going to be our volume for our cylinder. But that's not our answer. We've got to find the volume now of the sphere and then subtract it from that volume of the cylinder. So I remember for a sphere, the volume of a sphere is found by taking 4 thirds pi r cubed. So now I'm going to plug in my r, which we said was 3 centimeters, and we're going to cube it, and we're going to multiply that by pi, which I'll again use 3.14. And then we're going to multiply it by 4 thirds. Okay, so 3 centimeters cubed is 27 cubic centimeters times pi times the 4 thirds. And now, let's see, 27 times 3.14, that together is 84 and 78 hundredths cubic centimeters. And then multiply that by 4 thirds. So we're going to multiply by 4, divide by 3. And we get 113 and 400 cubic centimeters as our volume of the sphere. Get that other. So the volume of the sphere is about 113 and 400 cubic centimeters. So now that I have that, all I have to do is subtract the volume of the sphere from the volume of the cylinder. Therefore, the answer that they're looking for inside the cylinder but outside the sphere is 56 and 5200 cubic centimeters about because we use an approximation for pi. And that would be our answer. Yay!